The, now, the Canal and River Trust is in the final phase of a million pound project to dredge sections of the Midlands Canal Network. It's expected that 8,000 tonnes of rubbish have already been removed. Well, our reporter Ben Sidwell is canal side in Birmingham for us this lunchtime. So, Ben, I imagine this is a pretty big job. You can say that again, yeah. Four years they've been doing this. They are coming to the last phase. You can see behind me they're still pulling all sorts of things out of the canal here. I can tell you we actually took a quick trip. You might be able to see a tug just behind where the dredger is. We took a quick trip on that not long ago. And that is shallower than most barges that go down. And actually, we couldn't get down parts of the canal even in that. So there is a problem. The man in charge of it, Dean Davis, who's waterway manager in the Canal and Rivers Trust. I mean, how big a job is it for you? I mean, dredging on any canal is a really significant part of our business. It takes an awful lot of effort for us to do. It costs an awful lot of money. In an urban area like Birmingham, it's particularly difficult because once you take the material out, what do you do with it? How do you offload it? How do you get rid of it? And that is a bigger problem, isn't it? Because of the contamination in a big city, you can't just sort of dump it anywhere. Well, no, I mean, we've got the usual stuff like shopping trolleys and bricks and rubble coming out, but also in the industrial uh, heartland of the country, there's a lot of contamination. But that has to go to a dredging tip miles away that specialises in that. So a huge part of the costs that we have to pay for this goes in disposing of the material that we take out. That's another thing. People are going to say £1 million pounds sounds like a lot of money for canals that not many people use. Well, it, it is an awful lot of money, and the Canal and River Trust rely on the support of people as a charity, so we really do need to spend our money wisely. But let's not forget, canals without boats... Well, what would that look like? It, you know, they're, they're absolutely essential to our, our life and, and people's lives in, in, in Birmingham. So it's really vital that we do that dredging work. Well, at the moment, this work will carry on for approximately two weeks. But although in some areas they won't need to come back for 20 to 25 years, in other years they'll be dredging every year to keep the canals clear. Back to you. OK, Ben, thanks very much. Preparation.